Time for a check of the weather. Now, today is one of the great days at Flemington. It is Ladies Day today. But, Eddie, all good racing ladies know that it really started at lunchtime yesterday with the Oaks Club lunch. Um, you were there. How was that yesterday? Oh, we had such a good time. Dan and I did host the Oaks Club lunch at Crown. You weren't wrong. A lot of chatting in the room, but they were yeah. quite well behaved. Human nature performed. They were fantastic. It was like a millinery mosh pit with all the ladies up there at the front with human nature. Such a great lunch. Also, ball, money raised for Second Bite, which is the official charity of the Melbourne Cup Carnival. It is Ladies' Day here at the track, so I found the only other lady who's frocked up at 6.30 in the morning, <laughs> Rebecca Madden, fresh from her news cross. We're the only ones here. I oh, know. Tell us, Beck, what are you wearing today? Um, this is Hugo Boss, this dress, mm. and this is a Melissa Jackson um, hat, which I had extreme difficulty putting on this morning because I put the hat on before the dress and I should have put it's a complicated the hat on world, after the dress. It it I'm going to add these flowers to my hat on special permission, I might add, from the VRC. I didn't come in with the balaclava. I, I saw overnight. you coming in with your secretaries. Yes, I did with my secretaries <laughs> and my gardening glove. Ladies' Day, what's it all about? Well, everyone thinks it's just about the crowd because lots of ladies come here. It is actually about the race. It's the Crown Oaks. It's for three-year-old fillies and it's a terrific race. And there's some great names in the, in the race today. So I think a lot of ladies, even if you don't know anything about racing, they all get on a good name. So I, the favourite is Go Indie Go. Go Indie Go. Brett, is go. that your tip? Can't say yet. Is, still, I'm still waiting for late mail. <laughs> But it's still a good thing. Okay, That's still, very close. Still working on the six that. horses between four dollars and fifty-eight morning, dollars. That's really tight updated. field. On the forecast, let's have a look. Thank you, Beck. Thank for you. Joining us. Sunrise weather brought to you by Claritine Ready Tabs. They melt in your mouth in seconds for relief anywhere, anytime. A trough is generating hot and dry northerly winds over WA, leading to increased fire danger. A trough is causing a few showers and thunderstorms over New South Wales and Queensland. And patchy rain in Tassie and low pressure is causing showers and storms over WA, Northern Territory and Queensland tropics. Brisbane today, a shower or two with a possible storm and 29 degrees. A possible shower or storm tomorrow, partly cloudy on Saturday, mostly sunny on Sunday. Sydney, a possible early shower on 23 today, partly cloudy tomorrow, mostly sunny on Saturday, possible showers on Sunday and Monday. To Canberra, 24 degrees and partly cloudy today, partly cloudy tomorrow and on Saturday, possible shower on Sunday. Melbourne, mostly sunny and 23 here today, mostly sunny tomorrow, an afternoon cool change on Saturday, partly cloudy Sunday and Monday. Hobart today, 19 degrees and partly cloudy, mostly sunny tomorrow. Showers on Saturday, partly cloudy on Sunday. Adelaide, partly cloudy today with a top of 29. Partly cloudy tomorrow, possible shower on Saturday. Mostly sunny on Sunday. To Perth, a late shower or two and 23 today. Showers clearing tomorrow, mostly sunny on Saturday. Sunny on Sunday. And Darwin, 32 today with showers and a likely storm. Showers with a possible storm tomorrow and on Saturday. In half an hour, we're going to meet the Keeper of the Roses, the man responsible for making sure that they all bloom at exactly the right time and look as pretty as they do today.